Today, I'm gonna put a Formula One rear tail light on the back of my Suron, complete with active strobing, a switch to deactivate that flashing feature, and even a plug and play harness, so it's really easy to install and take off. And I'm also gonna show you exactly how I make it, so that if you like it, you can make it for your Suron too. Now, obviously, the big question is like, why? Well, one, it's gonna look sick. Also, the stock taillight on Saran's is absolute garbo. Like when you turn off the bike, uh, it kind of looks like one of those reflectors on a kid's bike. It's not like the best for being seen. You know what I mean? Also, most of our group rides happen at like midnight. So I feel like having something super noticeable on the back of the bike might be the ticket to not getting squashed by a car. Now, sure, hypothetically, we could just use like a regular brake light, like an active brake light, you know? But that would be lame and that would obey traffic laws, boo. We need like the highest output <clears throat> flashing thing we can possibly put on this bike. Dude, what? I just found a, I just, I took out two bolts. Now I have three, what's? The first step in this project was obviously to get my hands on a genuine Formula One uh, rear taillight. So I made a couple calls to um, my friends at Mercedes AMG. They, I think were busy or they, because they didn't, they haven't called me back yet. So I had to go for the next best option, uh, which is one from Amazon. This was $19.99. It had one review. That's all I need. This is gonna be the ticket to the entire project. I also have some switches that I bought and I also got some waterproof connectors so that I can connect this into the bike in a removable way. I'm hoping this will be like a plug and play thing, like a professional-ish thing. I think this thing has everything in it that we need to make this work. According to the single Amazon review, when you put power across the red and the black wires, supposedly this just lights up constant, but when you apply any voltage to the yellow wire, it'll flash for a couple seconds. I'm not sure if a nine volt battery will run it. I do not know anything about uh, electronics, but let's see what happens. Whoa! Dude. This is, oh my God, this is this is so perfect. I'm gonna figure out how we can uh, tap into the rear taillight power back here, and then we're gonna dig in up here, pull the front brake sensor, use that as a switch to trigger this yellow wire so that every time I hit the front brake, the lights will flash. That way, when I'm up in a sick wheelie, feather in the rear brake, it's not gonna be like incredibly obnoxious. I don't know if it's gonna work in the way that I hope it will, but it'll be sick if it does. Let's get into it. of the wiring. I drew up this little diagram. Basically, we're pulling power from the bike. That's coming out of this little plug right here. Red and black will run down to the light itself, so that way when the bike is on, it's always illuminated. Then, on the yellow wire that makes the light flash, we're gonna run two different switches. One is the brake that we just wired in, and then in line with that, we're also gonna add one of these little guys little inline switch so that way we can turn off the flashing annoying thing just so we you know don't get in trouble now you might be wondering what's the legality of this like how legal is this to have on my Suron and the short answer is I don't know I've never looked it up That's not good. Oh 
gang the formula one tail light is officially on it's been on for like a week and it's working way better than i expected it to work it's super bright uh, yeah i just wasn't really expecting it to work i'm gonna do some riding clips in just a second but i also feel like i should maybe like elaborate on how it works when you're just riding along it's just glowing like this can you see that it's kind of glowing then when i grab the front brake and only the front brake it'll flash. Now I did that on the front brake because the front brake is the only brake that I really use to slow down the bike. I only really use the rear brake for like feathering during wheelies and I don't want it flashing all the time while I'm doing a wheelie. And the coolest part is when I'm wheeling along, there's like this pool of red underneath the bike because it's like angled at the exact angle of the ground when you're up in a wheelie. Does that make any sense? On top of all that, I also added a switch that's tucked under the seat here. It has a really satisfying click, listen to this. Nice, right? That switch allows me to turn on and off the flashing feature, right? So now if I grab the front brake, nothing happens and I just have a normal tail light. I put that in because I feel like always having a tail light that's flashing really bright maybe isn't the best idea, especially if you're around law enforcement officials. So it's nice to be able to turn off that feature. Been at it already, had my tail red. Things are looking up for me, that's what my tarot said. Been pumping out pheromones and wearing red. Young Jerry Lawler, a king, but they're not aware of it. Who see that? Show money, that's what they stole from me. Blow it all bone and guess I roll funny. Go find me a snow bunny. Ask if this cold world's making the nose runny. She melted. I wear a cape that is velvet. Couldn't see it, she felt it. See it all like I'm out. All right, so obviously it's not the easiest to see during, you know, a bright, blustery day. So the other night I went out like midnight on a group ride with a bunch of my buddies to kind of see what they thought about the light. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Wow. It's like perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It makes the whole bike glow and it looks sick. Also, hopefully it helps me not get hit by a car, so. I got a beefy light back there. I got a what? Beefy light. Yeah, I just put it on. Oh, Look, yeah. and if I hit the front brake, then if I hold it, it keeps flashing so people know I'm slowing down. So but not the rear brake, so I can still wheelie and it's, it won't. So you just hooked in the brake sensor. Exactly. But it's all plug and play, so I could like yeah. literally take this whole thing off, plug it into another Serrano, and it would be good to go. My light's, my light's too bright. Oh, really? Everybody complains <laughs> about it. They're like, I can't see. But the purpose is to people to see me. Yeah, you know? exactly. But, but if you're directly behind me, bro, for real, it's like you go blind. Now. That's kind of why I did it down here. That's what I'm going to do. And it looks like it's like lights up the bottom of the bike, which looks kind of cool. Watch. I'll turn this on. Oh, we'll God. See, look at it from here. See, oh, my saying? God. It's too bright. It's so bright. <laughs> This is always so awkward when someone honks at you on a sarong and then you just pull up right next to them. All right, Logang. Gang, uh, hopefully you can see a little bit how like ridiculously bright the taillight is. Also, since then, I've gotten like three messages about people wanting to buy one. So, of course, I have all of the Amazon links down below in the description and in a pinned comment. And also, if you have any questions at all, Leave a comment. I reply to every single comment, so uh, I can help you if you're trying to build this for your own bike as well. Oh, that's a cute dog. All right, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. If you really like the video, make sure to subscribe. I make a new video whenever I can. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this video, and I will see you next time. Peace. Oh. Ah, ah.